Hi, this is Tom Greenwood from sydneyportraits.com.au and greenwoodphotos.com. Now in this clip, I'm going to give you 10 tips on portrait photography. Now I recently posted a video with a dozen tips for DSLR beginners. Now that could also be useful too, so please take a look at it here. So on with the portrait tips. One, get to grips with light. For me, the quality of light in an image is every bit as important as the subject. Read up on it. And also start to observe the light everywhere you go. The angle of it, the intensity and the color. Experiment with different kinds of light. Usually natural light is best and of course is freely available. But also have a go with flash, household lighting and street lights. Whatever you can find. Two, explore focal lengths. Experiment with different focal lengths. Now wide angle lenses tend to distort the features a little bit. Now, this can be okay for children because it can enlarge their eyes, which is often quite a nice effect. But for flattering portraits of adults, I tend to use something a bit longer, maybe a 40, 50, 60 or 70 millimeter lens. Three, try different apertures. Experiment with different apertures. A very wide aperture, maybe a f2.8, f2, f1.8, will give you that very shallow depth of field with a lovely blurred background. A smallish aperture, say f11 or f16, will ensure that the background is also fairly sharp. Four, shoot at eye level. By all means, experiment shooting at different angles, but bear in mind that shooting up or shooting down affects the way the viewer sees the subject. Shooting up at the subject can make them look imposing. Shooting down can make them look possibly a bit vulnerable. Maybe that's what you want, but for a more neutral emotional effect, perhaps try and stay roughly at eye level. Five, use a fixed lens. Try to use at least one prime or fixed lens. Perhaps start with a 50 millimeter lens like this. Now this one is a little bit more expensive, but you can get a perfectly good 50 mil lens for about $100. Prime lenses tend to be very sharp with really good contrast and color. Now crucially, they also have a very wide aperture. This is great for shallow depth of focus, with that lovely blurred background, and for shooting in low light. Six, a little charm goes a long way. Use your social skills, not just your photographic skills. Now, most people aren't mad on having their photo taken. So a little charm, friendliness, even just politeness can go a long way. Don't rush into taking photos. Make sure your subject is feeling comfortable, feeling relaxed first. But don't waste time either. Remember, your subject will thank you for not letting the session drag on too long. Seven, find common ground. Turn the portrait session into a bit of a conversation. Now you don't have to be an entertainer. You don't have to sing and dance and tell jokes, but try and find perhaps things that both of you have in common. It might be people you've met or places you've been, sports, film, music, anything. Whatever it is, a friendly chat will do wonders to help your subject relax. Eight, make the most of family. If you're photographing a family, try and involve those family members who are behind the camera with those who are in front of the camera. So perhaps they can be pulling funny faces or making jokes, 
making the person in front of the camera laugh and smile. Because family members, more than anyone, will know what works to get that smile, get that laugh. Nine, get inspired. Now, photographers, like all creative people, need inspiration. Take time to search out the work of famous photographers. Perhaps pour over magazines, go to your local bookshop, your library. Maybe you can even start your own collection of photo books. Perhaps delve into the history of photography. Along the way, you can develop your own favorite photographers. For me, my great hero was Richard Avedon. Above all, don't just rely on the internet. Call me old fashioned, but I believe photos were made to be printed. 10. Don't be afraid to copy. Now, every artistic or creative person starts out copying or imitating. It's nothing to be ashamed of. In fact, it's almost an essential part in the process of learning. So find images you love and try to recreate them. I guarantee it'll be harder than you think, but you'll learn bucket loads in the process. So those are my 10 tips. I hope you learned something. Feel free to leave a comment and subscribe and happy shooting. Mm -hmm.